What else to do? Oh. Bloody hell. A new part of the game. Oh, no voice. Hey, do you know where Emily is? You say you don't know an Emily. Ah, oh. maybe you know her as Miss Toriel. You tell her that Toriel is your teacher. Really? Where is she? You say you don't know where she is. Oh, that's fine. I came over to visit her. You ask now how she knows Toriel. We are great friends in college. Do you know that Toriel graduated with a 4.5 GPA? She doesn't act like it, but that dog is a genius. In college, some tech company, Dogma I think, gave her an internship over the summer. She ended up designing a huge portion of their upcoming flagship computer. They offered her a job with really good benefits, but Toriel declined. I have no idea why she closed a meager teacher salary instead. Especially since she isn't the best when it comes to interacting with kids. You probably know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I should probably continue looking for her. See ya. And she's gone. Oh, books. Oh, so books about canine social norms. Canine social norms. Alright. Flip to a random page. Dogs use their tails to communicate when a dog holds their tail up in aggression. If you're novice, a dog would hold their tail between their legs. When it's time, dogs are like their tails. Pro tip, you're conversing with a dog and they're talking about something that they find interesting. Start wrecking your tail back and forth. Yeah, that's gonna help. Dog will feel like you're interested in what they're saying. If you don't have a tail, just stick your tongue out and pant to get some message across. Okay, that was something. Dog biology. Read it. Okay. Dogs have an amazing sense of smell. They've known to sniff my scents from up to a mile away. It's not come to say dogs have extremely extraordinary senses. This eyesight isn't as good as they say a human's. Which is why most adult dogs wear glasses or contacts. You decide to stop reading. See an illustrated children's book on a shelf. Bath and a pool party. Read it. You skim through one of the illustrations. Bartha seems to be your average human child. That box crawls on all fours and wags his tail. The other characters don't seem to be bothered by this. But you are. You decide to stop reading him. Alright. Hey, you're back. How's the principal fight with the principal? Guess how he knows him. I can smell a fake dramatic tension from a mile away. I just don't know why I can't get that guy, damn cat's voice. Take a book from the shelf. Thomas County Echoid. Open cover. There's another book inside. Repos recursive comedy. A guide. Yes. Open the cover. There's another book inside. Okay. Oh. Bloody genius. There's no way a school this small needs this many books. There must be an embezzling scheme. Schemes everywhere. Scheme of poor books. Pick up a textbook. Textbook composition a guide. It's a textbook about making textbooks. Read through some of it. You find yourself losing focus. Oh. Hey, are you okay? You're out for a solid 45 seconds. Hey, is that a key you have? I have lots of keys, and I hide them in a lot of places. Between you and me, one of my favorite hiding spots is the house pl oh. That bloody damn plant! I know there's something wrong with him. <laughs> what the? Ah. Oh. Did a cat just talk about my body fluids? Alright. How to spot monetary crimes. Money laundering, tax evasion, embezzlement, counterfeiting. These are just many samplings of many monetary crimes people commit on a dear daily basis. In a project event, yourself can dupe dogs, scam you need to stay a lot. There's practical tips of spotting monetary crimes. Someone is trying to purchase an item, but
but the cash they're using looks funny. That's counterfeiting. Probably. If someone isn't reporting something to the government tax collection agency, or they aren't paying their taxes, that's definitely tax evasion. Tax evasion can call. We need to tell the investment the monitoring which are. He to decide to stop reading. That's good. Oh, library dog. Hello there. Welcome to the library school. Need anything? Just working it. Well, I recently finished How to Read Classic Literature through contemporary lenses. And also an analysis of postmodernism in fiction. But you probably wouldn't have fun reading those. The truth is, I've been about busy reading books about other books. That's why I haven't had time to real read real books. Not that I meta books aren't real, but... I'm sure you'll find something. Alright. Oh, another cart. I love anime. You can only get the tweet. Oh, self filled comic. Actually, I believe you're telling me you're looking for a manga. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Read a manga. <laughs> Take a manga from the shelf. The title is in the language you don't understand. You open up to a random page. Pages filled with the illustrations of the good dogs and scarts. You flip another page. God, he's supposed to be a giant piloting giant mechanic suits. Another page. My, what? Alright. You saw I stopped reading. How would that even walk? I don't think there's a restaurant. That, I, I'm not gonna think about it. Architecture, foundation of architecture. Read it. You flip to a random page. Architecture isn't just about building living spaces that are functional. It's also about designing spaces that are endowed with style. For example, take magical doors. Magical doors are like regular doors, save for one distinguishing feature. They make obnoxious popping sounds when opened. <laughs> or the meta. When given the option, most dogs just use to show magical doors over regular ones. The actual reason is unclear, but the leading hypothesis is that it makes magic door seem more exciting. As for how the doors are made, or why they made noise, it's a compute mystery. Only a handful of companies manufacture magical doors, and design is heavily guarded around secret. One thing is certain though, the popping sounds are as annoying as heck. One book on the shelf captures the interest. Contemporary computer design a primer. Read it. Before we start, it's important to remember all the video game is all about having fun. Okay. Fun is like only experience a game can give to a player. And no, video games can't be artistic, duh. You flip to another page. Soccer Bun 1982 is a prime example of how to not make a strategy action game. The problem I verb is pushing a series of boxes around a grid. A, that's the most boring verb in the world. B and B, there's only like 10 interesting puzzles you can make with that verb. You flip to another page. Most role-playing games follow a similar storyline. The protagonist rescues the world from destruction. I like to propose some radically new story ideas. Save the princess. ALA Super Ma Mar Mario Bros. Save the goddess. ALA The Legend of Linky. Ok Icarus. Defeat the bad guys. AA Star War. Wait, did I just compare video games to film? I can't do that. Video games can't be artistic, so I can't compare them to artistic mediums. I must only draw examples from other video games. Who decided to stop reading? A book about clothing. Dog fashion. Then and now. Read it. Clip to the random page. Due to the enslavement and colonization of dogs, most dogs became impoverished and impoverishment continued for years. Because of this, the dog generally lacked clothing. They took to wearing makeshift garments fashioned from rags. These garments were really being called Kalikin, known as a type of clothing called Kapawana. Today, despite the conditions of dogs being fast as Syria Kapanas, are still worn. A bit modern Kapanas are much higher in quality than rags. A Kapana is a sleeveless shirt that covers a dog from the neckline to their upper legs. 
Of course, to accommodate tails of dogs, capadons have a hole for a tail to go through. Generally, capadons tend to be solidly coloured. Capadons are unisex, a term meaning all genders can wear them. Capadon is usually worn with pants of a similar, usually darker colour. Despite several clothing options for dog being available, capadons are still de facto standard for dog fashion. These UPM today have even led to some units wearing capadon as the chapter ends here. Yeah, the first book I actually read through. Locked it. Oh, a green keyhole. Yes, sir. You put in the key. It fits. You turn the key. It turns. You slowly open the door. It opens. Such suspense. The final bookshelf of the gods. You pick up a worn black volume that has no name or title. Read it. Once upon a time. Two races inhabited the earth, children and adults. Children started out small and weak. Over time, children grew in stature and became adults. Adults, in turn, would produce more children. This cycle sustained itself without issue. When the adults faded away, children would replace them. But the adults were unsatisfied. Adults longed for the system, a system that would transfer knowledge to the next generation. So, the adults created school, a system that would teach children the norms of civilization, a system that would prepare children for their transformations into adults. The children behold to their ma adults' masters had no choice but to participate. And through the years, school has persisted. Even to this day, few can agree on the precise nature of school. School, school is, is terrible. School, school is magnificent. And yet, one fact stays the same. School is inevitable. The names may be different, the rules may be tweaked, but at the end of the day, systems never change. Mr. Peterson, 1962. That was interesting. Alright, I think that's all we got. I wonder if I... Actually. Oh, yeah, it's only carriage straight. Alright, let's get out of here. There's still one thing I need to check out. Ah. Damn, it's locked. Damn. And that damn plant escaped my grasp. You own this time, bloody plant. Your mom's in the car. She waited in the attention vehicle. Yes, yeah, sorry. Wait a minute. Welcome home, Rayson. How was your first day at school? Bad. I feared you would say that. We all had bad days now and then. But I'm certain that next time you go to school, be for the better. I mean, considering what you've been through today, it could hardly be worse. Doggo, you've been halfly quiet. Do you want to share your thoughts on today's events? Or at least say hello to your sibling? He's still processing. Let's give him some space. Well, I'm sure you're very tired. As much as we've made our bedtime a bit earlier than usual. <laughs> By a bit, you mean 30 minutes. Yup. Well, thank you. Now I suppose we should get ready for dinner. After we eat, you two shall go to bed. Down that table's big. Now the one thing I wanted to check out is this dumb crack. The secret tunnel. Hey 
biking on your wake. So, um, I'm sorry that I yelled at you. That was mean. You want so big time. You're right. I did mess up. I'm so sorry. What I wanted to tell you is... Well, I don't know. I feel like I should say something, but I don't have any words. Yet I feel sad. Yeah, yeah, we do. We are doing a bad route. School be me bad, but we can face the options together. It's late. We should go to sleep. Good night. Good night, Bison.